Welcome back, friends. We are talking about keeping seniors safe on the road. Today, we're talking with CSP Trooper Gary Cutler about elderly drivers and a campaign that will help them stay safe on the road. So, Trooper Cutler, first of all, thank you so much for being thank with you. us. Uh, tell us a little bit about this campaign that you guys are running. So this is pretty much something that goes along throughout the, the U.S. all the time. But one of the problems we do have is when people get to an age where they're going to have problems driving. Um, and we just, you know, we look at it as the elderly a lot of times. Um, and they've had some stats that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has done. And 19% of all traffic fatalities across the U.S. in 2018 were caused by drivers that were 65 years or older. Now, and I, I, I know there's a lot of people out there right, going, right. wait a sec, I'm 65. Sure. So we're not saying right at 65 that you're going to go ahead and have to give up your keys and your driver's license, stuff like that. But it's a good time to start evaluating how your driving is going. Yeah, and this is actually a really personal cause for you. It is. Um, I've had a couple of these in my family. I lost my grandmother in 2002 to a crash that we probably should have taken the, the keys and driver's license away from her earlier. And so that really helped us when my father had those issues. And what we did was we, we saw those signs early on and we went ahead and had the discussion with him that he needed to have his keys taken from him. And that's a very hard thing because I'm not gonna tell people that's an easy thing. It, my dad was mad at us, you know, he fought us and that's how it's gonna be. But you need to kind of talk to them. And, and what we wanna do is it's not a, hey, we're gonna treat you like a child right, and we're gonna right. take your keys away. We want you to look at it and say, you know, keep the, the self-respect with them. Let them know that this is something that is very traumatic to people. And we don't want them to where, you know, they're gonna be angry with everybody and they're gonna keep trying. So, you know, talk to them about the reasons why this, you know, we're gonna make, keep you safe. We want you around. We want other people to be safe, you know. But there are things you can do that will help you to continue to drive. So like with the older you get, driving at night isn't always the best for you. So if that's the case, you know, limit your time to driving during the day. What did you find really helped you when you were having those conversations that kind of sealed the deal a little bit more? What are you seeing that's kind of proven for successful for people who are a little hesitant to have that conversation with somebody they think mm -hmm. we need to have that with? Well, sometimes it, it also helps to have somebody, uh, we'll call it authority, like a, a law enforcement officer or, you know, going to a driver's license division and say, you know, we're having these problems and we're looking to, you know, have them either stop driving completely or a little less than what they were doing. And you can do retests uh, for your driver's license, you know, and that allows uh, somebody else to kind of be the bad person to say, hey, you know, it's, it's time, you know, uh, eyesight uh, tests, things like that. You know, if you're seeing that they're having problems with that, utilize those options as well and not just have it be the family members. Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking at a list here that is on olderwiser.org, looking for some signs that it's time to limit or stop driving. What are some big ones that you see out there for people? Um, going through stop signs or driving through green, you know, red lights and stuff, um, you'll see a lot of those kind of things. Or there, you know, it. We want people to be safe, and but there are speeds that are too slow on highways. You know, we don't have places where we have a minimum speed usually. But you know, if you're that nervous of driving and it's because you need to really concentrate on everything that is there, those are the items that you might want to look at. You know, if you're you're missing those uh, stop signs, having trouble reading them. Um, you know, you're not seeing other vehicles or you have that evening or night drive uh, time uh, problems with seeing uh, as well. You know, those are the kind of things that you need to start looking for self-evaluation and family members mean to be looking at that with their, their older drivers as well. Yeah, Trooper Cutler, thank you so much for opening mm -hmm. up that conversation. It's something I'm sure a lot of people at home are like, we may know somebody or, I mean, and it is a tough conversation, as you said. So thank you so much for having that. How long is this campaign going? Mm -hmm. What does it look like for any of us? So it, it continues on, you know, throughout the year. Um, if anybody wants real good information, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is one that has all sorts of information that will give you step-by-steps on how to talk to your older family members on that. All right, Trooper Cutler, thank you so much right, for thanks. being with us. We'll be right back.